Hi, I am Carrie DeGraff with Scoot Cold Brew. We opened our doors on July 11 of this year. At Scoot Cold Brew, we have cold brew coffee. The common uh, misunderstanding about cold brew is that you have to drink just a cold, basic black cup of coffee. So part of our job here at Scoot is to educate people that not only is cold brew simply how it's processed, that you can also drink it hot. So from a coffee standpoint, we have your basic drinks that you would find at like an espresso uh, coffee shop or any other sort of coffee provider. Um, but with that, we also sell our coffee in bulk. Uh, part of our model is to reduce waste. So we sell our coffee in reusable glass growlers. Or you could buy our concentrate, which is high octane. We sell them in what we call bullets. And so the benefit to that, especially right now with COVID, is being able to take your coffee home and have something that's quick and respectable and convenient that you can just open and enjoy right away without it being a hassle and without having to go out and be at risk. After we signed a lease on our space, you know, initially we are just going to produce cold brew, but then we figured if we're going to be here working on our cold brew, we may as well have a tasting room and made it a place where, you know, at some point when COVID relaxes, then we can, can settle down and you can come in and enjoy a, a cup of coffee. But for the most part, it's almost like a brewery setup where you come for your coffee to go. You come get, like you would a growler of beer, you get a growler of coffee, but at the same time, you can stop and try some samples. So our goal is really to make things in this area as convenient as possible. So some of the ways that we've done that is we've added a team meeting room. So we've got a space where if you wanna have a, a meeting, you can Wi-Fi up to a, a big screen and share a project that you're working in with your group. You can whiteboard ideas. In the future, as we grow, we'd like to offer pastries and snacks. And you can also rent out the area if it's something that you wanted to have a small event, like a little gathering. We are raising funds on Honeycomb to, to start by consolidating some of our startup expenses. The money will be used to, to develop a sales and marketing strategy to get our name out in front of the public so we can educate people on how to consume our product. That you can actually just throw a shot and some milk and a frother and boom, you have a really good uh, cold brew latte. And so a lot of our, um, our focus will be used in, like I said, just getting our name out there and promoting everywhere and along with that, sharing our, our, our bigger mission with people. We initially started Scoot to create something of our own. Like I said, I just didn't want to, to work for someone else anymore, but in doing that, I realized that we have a lot of responsibility to the community and there's simple things that we can do to make a big impact. When we do have single serve coffee, we can offer a cup discount. If we were to take that money and instead of putting it back in your pocket, what we could do is we could collect that money all year and then donate it to a local school, help communities and schools in need. And so just something as small as that, if thousands of us get together every day and put 10 cents aside can make a huge difference. Just little things that we can do together that will create big change. Raising funds through Honeycomb and being able to get our, our strategy and our name out there is gonna help us, our customers and the community because we'll be able to grow with that. We can um, increase our hours, we can offer more things that are gonna make their life easier, more conveniences. We'll be able to have events. We have a huge, huge yard here on the property, and this summer, one of the things that we love to do is hold lawn games. So we've got music out there sometimes. As we can generate more income and get more customers coming through the door, then we can grow these projects and, and expand. Uh, it gives you a place to come, and ideally, at some point, we would like to buy this whole building. There's uh, plenty of things that we could put in here that can be community-driven. And so, long-term, it's one stop where you could show up within your community and just spend a day with family or friends and have a great time. Thanks so much. I really appreciate you checking out our Honeycomb campaign, and we look forward to giving you the fuel you need so you can do the things that you love.